Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello friends, my name is Mika Tasya Kusuhandari And I'm from TBIA Group 7 So in this uh, situation or this chance, I want to explain with you about the hand gesture About two countries, the first is Japanese and the second is Indonesia So I hope you always in a good condition and get more information from my video So let's check it out Okay, the first I want to explain with you about the Japanese hand gestures. So we know that this, this one. This is a common gesture meaning good, but this also means man or boyfriend or lover in a rude situation. So in the Japanese, this is mean uh, sometimes good, sometimes this is a boyfriend or this is a lover, but in this situation, this is rude. So the second is this, this one. You know this one? Yes, your little finger. Pressing a pinky finger or your little finger means girl or woman. Especially in a partner, it's very informal situation. It's a quiet route. This is a quiet route in Japan. So you don't have to do this at that country. So next is like this one. This. Like point of someone or pointing someone view. This is used to show direction or identify a person or thing. It's fine to point at oneself, but rude to point at others. So, uh, if you want to point something, something like a staff or thing like that, not human, this is not rude. This is common. But if you point this one to someone or others, this is so rude in that country. So, the first, uh, if you know the gesture like this, this, and this, I want to explain you about the other hand gesture in Japan the first is pointing your nose like this this one with your finger the first finger you're doing like this like point yourself this is a uh, point at your nose point to your nose like this so this is meaning me like this me pointing your pointing at your nose at yourself this is meaning me and how to do like this one Put the tip of your pointing finger, tip finger, put the tip of your point finger on your nose like this. So you do it like this, like, and just like this, this one, like this, this, point at yourself. So when to use it? Wondering about pointing in Japan? Well, Western people place an index finger on their chest. Japanese people place it on their nose when they indicate themselves. So. If you want to do this, like this example, in a real condition, you're doing this. For example, like uh, the teacher asks you, you, you answer this problem. Is answer this problem. Your teacher asks you, uh, you answer this problem, and then suddenly you just doing like this. Me, sir, or me, miss, or ma'am, like this. And then the second, after pointing your nose, is put hands together like this 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 is the example one this is meaning asking for forgiveness or favor thankful for a meal in Japan so how to do first put your palms together like this put your palms together in front of your body like this one in your chest in front of your chest in front of your body and then when to use it Western people may think this is a praying praying posture but however, Japanese people do this gesture when they casually say sorry for X, X for a left favor or before starting, before starting to eat a meal. So in Japanese, this is mean like thank you, thank you in whatever you do. Example, in Japanese, you also say like this, itadakimasu, like someone give you a a full of for example breakfast or lunch or you you get the dinner in the house of your friends or someone and then before you start the meal you you're doing like this in Japan itadakimasu and the third is cross index finger so like this one uh, this like this cross index finger this is meaning this is mean check or bill please at the restaurant when you are in the restaurant this is mean uh, you ask for check or bill and how to do just 
it's very simple like this doing like this cross your index fingers in front of your face like this you're doing like this in a restaurant and when to use it you ask for a bill when you ask for a bill at the restaurant show your finger cross like this so your cross finger to a waiter or waitress please keep it man that is a very casual sign and you shouldn't do this at a very nice restaurant for example when you are at the restaurant after you after you eating your food and then the, finally at the end you you ask the bill and then you just doing like this can you bring me a check please like that that is a common casual gesture in japan but it's in some restaurant and then next we move to indonesian hand gesture so let's check it out so finally we move to indonesian hand gesture so the first like this one same like this one this is the thumbs up is a common gesture meaning good i like it or i like it good i like it or is a gesture to show agreement about something in indonesia so next is like this you just do it like this if someone holds their hand like this rubbing the thumb index and the middle finger together that means money or cash or i want money you can do it like this and then the third like this one like you do it like this with your finger this is means come here and it's very casual instead of the only index finger you can use all finger except the thumb I explain about shaking hand especially shaking hand in Indonesia just like this like breathing or you meet some people or you meet a new people you just doing like this one of the most common hand gesture in Indonesia culture is handshake like this when you greet somebody or and shake hands briefly press your right palm to your heart after afterward so just like this although in Indonesia culture is strongly influenced by Islam you greet with someone someone you or someone you know just do it like this like shake your hand greeting and then uh, you just do it like this put your hand in your chest and then you greet for shaking your hands like this and then you just like this put in your chest it's more acceptable for men and women to shake hands that is as in some more conservative islamic culture handshake however tend to be considerably more general across the board when they are in the west so the third is walking in front of someone if you want to walking in front of someone uh, so it should be totally unfamiliar to you when you walk in front of somebody you should be over slightly and extend your right hand down with the palm facing them so this is uh, the one example when you want to pass through someone just like this excuse me and then uh, put down your body I think 30 degrees just excuse me and then in Japanese maybe in this is Mongol or in Indonesia this is mean permisi like that so that is about the different about uh, Javanese and Indonesian hand gesture. I hope you more get information about this video and then yeah we have to know about more explanation see ya Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Kurnia Sohia my name 20419019 now I want to explain about different gesture especially eye contact between Indonesia and Japanese in Indonesia when using eye contact it is expected that someone turn their gaze to respect when talking to someone who is older or from a higher social status especially in the Java area which still address to traditional beliefs in Indonesia tends to make direct eye contact with their peers to appreciate what they are talking about and show that we are paying attention to what the speaker is saying but 
some people might find it awkward to make long eye contact and effort their eyes when talking to other people. This usually only applies to those who have an introvert personality. But in the city, usually uh, more used to it by using eye contact when communicating. In Japan, eye contact equal equation. If you look into someone's eyes, they will look away. Direct eye contact is considered rude or distracting. It's okay to make brief eye contact. But for most conversation, you have to look elsewhere like looking at nose or even looking around them. They will feel very uncomfortable if you they notice that you are trying to maintain look long eye contact. If you are person who is taken back by the arrogant attitude of the Japanese people, it could be because they think you look down on them because of their culture or that's how they behave. Okay, enough. Thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, my name is Masdora from TBIA and my student number is 2041924. And today I'm gonna explain a little bit about face gesture from Japanese and Indonesians. The first one is face gesture or facial expression from Japanese people. The first is mokurei or eye contact. This is, is another way to greet people apart from the three forms of bowing. Japanese people use eye contact greeting in situations that require you know to make noise or when you cannot move. This sign indicates that you notice someone's presence and when you're smiling, greeting with mokure is like a bonus to the so when smiling is like a bonus in mockery and then for the example is where you look at the person in his or her eyes and then note by slightly pulling your chins like like this and then for the second one is nodding as you may notice, Japanese people often note with this gesture repeatedly and say mm, mm, while they are listening to someone. This gesture indicates that you understand the person who is making a speech and that you are not against him or her. The third one is titling head. This gesture is used when you are not sure of something and are and are wondering what it is. Your eyes are likely looking above toward either side and Japanese people often do this gesture to show no without directly saying no. In this case, the eyes are usually looking down towards either side for the example is like and then for indonesian the next is indonesian head and face gesture the first one is hair let's start with the hair you will quickly notice that a lot of young men take pride in their haircuts in fact there seems to be old fashioned barber shop on every main street. This is a part of the underlying cultural tendency toward clean lines that you will pick up on. Don't let your hair don't let your hair get greasy or unkempt. And don't fiddly with your hair or 
constantly around your fingers through it. It also seems as slightly rude to strike your head in public. And then the next, the second one is smiling and laughing. Furthermore, Indonesian people love to smile. They smile when they are greeting someone or even though they are also smile to indirectly saying yes or no. So smile means a lot in Indonesia. And then the third one. The third one is eye contact in Indonesian culture. Eye contact is an important body gesture in Indonesian communication and culture. Avoiding eye contact is a sign of embracement, just like it is in the West. However, in period films or TV shows, you will notice that everybody seems to be avoiding eye contact. Why is that? Why is that? Traditional Japanese society was heavily strapped socially. It was impressive that one avoided eye contact with one's superiors, whether that be a patriarch of the family or a village leader. It's not really expected these days, but if you happen to go to a more rural area, it's polite to avert your guests if your host is saying something important. And then the last one is eating. Unlike in someone neighboring countries, it's considered rude in Indonesia to eat loudly or talk with your mouth full. You should not you should not speak on the street either. I think it's all that I can say. Thank you so much for listening me today and see you next time and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Lisa Khairunisa. I'm from TBIA. And star number is 2041-0021. I will show you about the difference between Japanese and Indonesia. Japan and Indonesia have a way different ways of expressing things, apologies, etc. And then the first is OGG. In Japanese culture, OGG is a way of showing respect by bowing body. For example, when saying thank you, while gazing, giving diplomas, graduation, etc. There are two types of OGG. There are Nisurai and Zerei. Nisurai is OGG that is performed while standing. When doing OGG, men usually press the buttocks to maintain balance, like this. And then, when well, women usually put both hands in front of the body. Will Zari is OGG that is done while sitting. In Indonesia, there are also gestures. They show a gesture for showing respect for elders, almost the same of OGG. Usually carried by Indonesia, Japanese people, namely bending the body with the hands, the right is extended down, and the right hand is bent behind the hip. A gesture is so an apology of or excuse for having walked by someone old one, like this. And then second is handshake. The handshake tradition is carried out both in Indonesia in, and in Japan. Similarly, friend liners and warm. But in Indonesia, sometimes this hand is done by clasping both hands. If done by two people of the opposite sex, there are times when their hands don't touch like this. And then the location of hands after the handset is done is also different. There are some people 
who then put their hands on their cheese like this somewhere place on their forehead like this a snow expression that is seen not only outwardly but also from within okay thank you